Hi, Dave, Alan. Um, thank you for joining me. So what has the last two years been like? What progress do you feel like we've made? Where are we on the journey? Oh, wow. Well, look, it's been a hell of a two years. An awful lot has happened. And I'm really, honestly, quite delighted with the progress we've made. I think colleagues have been outstanding. You know, we faced into the challenges we had as a business that could be described as in crisis. We wanted to make ourselves more competitive, particularly in the UK, and the results today show that we've done that. Uh, the balance sheet is more secure uh, as a result of all the things that we've done, and you can see the trust coming back into, into our brand. So colleagues have been fantastic in facing into what was a very difficult situation, let's not kid ourselves, and really turning the business around, importantly, by behaving differently, by doing things differently. And the results are a really positive reinforcement for all of us that those were the right things to do. And that actually, by putting the customer at the center of everything, we set ourselves up really very well for what it is, uh, is ahead of us. So I'm delighted with the progress we've made. An awful lot has happened, but colleagues have been absolutely brilliant. So Alan, could you just share a bit about the results that we have released this morning? The results are really encouraging. When we look across the group as a whole, we've seen growth in all parts of our business. In the UK and ROI, we've seen the first, in this half, we've seen the first growth for five years. So the first half year growth since 2011. If we look internationally, we've seen volumes up more than 3% and we've seen transaction numbers up as well. In Tesco Bank, we now have 2% increase in customer accounts compared with this time at the beginning of the year. And in Tesco Mobile, we have 4.8 million customers using Tesco Mobile. So across the whole of the business, we've seen really, really good results. And that's a, a big step forward to when we last spoke in 2014. Um, what, what do you think that success is down to, Dave? What I'm proud of most, I think, is we focused on doing what we said we would do. We said we wouldn't talk our way out of the position we got ourselves into, that we would behave our way out of it. And I think that behavior is you know, best seen in putting the customer at the heart of everything we do. And we've stayed really focused on doing that. You see it in all the work that's been done across the countries, but in you know, range, in service, in availability, and now also in price. So it's, it's good quality, brilliant retailing, but by putting the customer right at the heart of everything we do, and then saying anything that doesn't serve him or her better, actually, we should be removing that, and investing back into that offer. And as we've talked today about the six strategic drivers, could you say a little bit more about that as we look to the future so colleagues can understand? What we did today is share uh, with you know, our shareholders and a bit more broadly, uh, the plan that we as an exec have been running to for quite a while now. And it's just a very simple way of saying, actually, if we think about the initiatives that drive our business forward over the next three years, we think there are six things that we should focus on. You know, we want to build a more differentiated brand for customers uh, as Tesco. Uh, it adds value and it, and it will add differentiation to the offer. Um, we know that we have the opportunity to significantly lower our costs in lots of areas in order to be able to invest more in that relationship. So that's the second of those drivers. The importance of generating cash from our business for the investment, but also for the health of the business is something that we've been talking about inside at Tesco for those last two years and that's just a reflection of how we want to drive that for the next three years. And then that maxing the mix is all around what, what do we sell where and how can we manage the margin of that mix a little bit more proactively and better. So again, really good core retailing. We have an opportunity uh, to realize value from property and assets that we have and we're being much more proactive under Steve's leadership as to what it is we might do. Uh, and the six box is the one that, you know, is all about innovation. People will see some of the things we've done and have no knowledge about the things we're going to do because that's, you know, competitively sensitive. But it's, it's just a way of pulling together initiatives that everybody can understand and relate to the value of the business, particularly for some external sh stakeholders who are not involved in it every minute of every day in the way that we are. Dave, anything you'd like to say in summing up? Ooh. I think two things really. I think the, the, the genuine thing is, is thank you. You know, it's been, it has been a hell of a two years. Um, you know, there have been some challenges along the way, um, but everybody knows about that. I'm really proud of the way that everybody has faced into that. I think we've just been very honest and objective with ourselves and dealt with it, but that takes a lot of emotional energy. It takes a huge amount of commitment and colleagues have been just outstanding 
in every part of the uh, every part of the Tesco family around the world, people have really faced in and done what it is the business needed to have happen over those two years. And I'd just like to say, you know, a heartfelt thank you for that. And I think the second thing is keep doing what we're doing. Just every day, if if all of us can give one customer an experience of Tesco which was better than they expected when they came in the door or they came online or they contacted us anywhere, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll rebuild our brand. You can see what's happening already. And we should take some confidence and some heart. And that's why today when we talk to the city, we say, look, that stage of crisis for us is over. We've met those three priorities. We're more competitive. The balance sheet is more secure. We're rebuilding the trust. And now we move into a different phase for our business. So, Thank you very much, but keep doing it, it's working.